Hello everyone. So as an apology for totally dropping the ball on the Blender um, episode, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick episode about creating objects in Unity. So I created this Blender object in the last episode, as you saw, um, and I also went ahead and created this extremely basic material for it. And I'm just going to show you the steps real quick. Although probably to most of you this is old, old, old hab. I mean old, uh, old hat. So this is the 3D object. Now we need to make a material. Uh, now that happens that there already is some material attached to it, but we need a new material, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll call this drop hab one. And we'll drop it onto the drop hab one. And we're going to go ahead and drag this here and drop it. And you can see that that gives us some kind of visual material. But let's go ahead and punch it up a couple of notches by making it into a bumped specular. But we don't have any, nor any normal map, so how do we do that? Well, if you want to do just a very, very quick and easy normal mapping, you can just duplicate the texture and then change its type to normal map and hit apply. Now, this is not something that I recommend for production um, because this normal map won't actually look very good, but it does look good enough for it to stand in for your project, uh, you know, as you're developing. The other thing you can do is you can tweak it so that it's not as tall, like this, um, which gives it a little bit, hmm, how about even less, there we are, which gives it just a little bit of a mottled look rather than looking like it's made out of, you know, foam packing peanuts or something. And my, ever since I upgraded Unity, my mouse drag uh, for the scene camera has been malfunctioning. I don't know what's up with that, um, but if you have the same problem, I pity you, because uh, it's annoying as hell. Anyhow, so there's a lot of options we have as to how we want to make this look a little bit better, and they're all here in the import, in the model import. Um, one of the things we can do is right now we import our, tan our normals, which means that whatever Blender happens to be set to. Now, if you happen to do a lot of normal stuff in Blender, then by all means import them, but I don't, so let's go ahead and calculate them. Now, when you calculate it, you can set it to, again, sorry for the popping, that's really terrible. You can set it to whatever you'd like. Right now we've got it set to 60, which is, uh, for example, if we set it to 180, then everything will look smoothed. And if we set it to zero, then everything will look perfectly like that. Um, you know, between 40 and 60 is a good option, depending on where your corners are and how defined you want them to be. I took it down from 60 because I wanted this to be a sharp edge. So now you can see we've got this object. Um, now, this is a Blender object, and to be perfectly honest, you don't want to use Blender files in your project. They have a lot of overhead that you don't need. Instead, what you should do is you should create, uh, say, a cube. And then what you need to do is you need to take the model and put it in where the cube is. Uh, you don't need this box collider. In general, it depends. You might want the box collider. Um, but what we want to do, delete that, don't need it anymore. Uh, and someone is making uh, extremely obnoxious beeping noises continuously. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll, uh, it won't be loud as hell when I try and do a, uh, a recording. But not today. Today it is loud as hell. Um, but you notice that the whole thing is tipped. you got a couple of options here. One of the options you can do is you can go back to this drop hab module and you can change the import options. Um, at least you're used to be able to change the import options so that it's rotated. I don't happen to see that anymore. Yeah, it's it's like uh, grayed out. So I guess you can't do that anymore. You used to be able to. So I guess that means your only option is to tip it here, like so. Um, which means that in general, you'll probably want to put it inside of another object um, so that when you tip it, it uh, uh, it doesn't end up tipped when you're talking about transform.forward and so on. The other thing we can do is we can add a collider to it, a uh, component physics mesh collider. And now in general you're going to want to add this to the same thing that has the mesh filter on it, just because that way the collider and the filter are lined up perfectly. Because you notice how we had to rotate this? Well, if we rotate one and not the other, then we get something really crazy. Um, now, you may have a hard time with meshes that are built like this, uh, and you may find that you need to put convex on, and that's fine. Um, there's no problem with that. It's unlikely, in my case, that I'll ever need to worry about, you know, tucking into this particular area. So convex is fine, and it also makes the mesh collisions go faster in any, in any regard. It just works better. 
So we could add all sorts of things like rigid bodies and so on and so forth, but we don't want to do that because these buildings won't have physics directly attached to them. I'm only going to calculate their physics when something hits them. So I'm only going to calculate their physics when the rigid body of the mech or some other device uh, slams into them. Anyhow, that's a quick tutorial on how you might be able to build this sort of thing. Just a quick pipeline tutorial. Uh, so let's go ahead and call this drop hab1 and then put it into our modules folder. Uh, let's not call it modules, let's call it space inventory. There you go. Now you're done.